Bienvenidos a Colombia. This is a unique and exciting time to come to Colombia. Many of you come eager to learn about what has been a great accomplishment for the country. Signing a peace agreement with the oldest guerrilla movement in the Americas after a 52-year armed conflict. We have invited you, not because we have a lot of answers, because we have a lot to learn, lots of hard questions to ask ourselves, so we need your help and support in doing this, especially in understanding how a couple of words that we will hear a lot in the next days relate to the challenge we face, collective leadership. To realize our vision, we will need leadership in the entire ecosystem around children. Leadership of students themselves and of parents, of educators at every level of the system, of policy makers and, and business leaders and many other stakeholders. Collective leadership to me means that, you know, everyone working together towards a shared vision, a shared goal, and all working towards achieving that goal. Yo he visto en mi pueblo cómo toman decisiones desde el ego que van en contravía del bien común. Se nos tiene que convertir el bien común como la puesta de relacionamiento con la vida y con el mundo. It's fascinating when you had the opportunity to be with 500 people from 40 different countries, passionate about what they do, interested in asking questions, the difficult questions about the crisis of the world, and one of the biggest crises, no doubt, is education. We need change quickly, fast, and that has to happen then in both ways, bottom up and top down. But for top down, change to happen, there has to be political alignment. Countries and governments need to take education seriously. We need to learn to be part of the community, to be part of uh, common vision and work together with all of the actors in this ecosystem. Reconciliation is the fact of saying, I forgive you and now I want to help you. Let me just tell you, I have never seen uh, a plant emerge from the ground full grown. There are many, many times when we destroy things by trying to make them bigger when what we should have been doing is feeding them where they were. At the Ministry of Education, we understand that if, you are, if we are in a complex territory, we cannot dream to solve all the problems of that context because we are not superheroes. We have to understand that if we solved one problem, then another, then another, then another, we are going to build the solution. My biggest takeaway is that collective leadership is long term and we need to be able to be patient and trust that the small changes that we're trying to do now are going to have a big impact in the future. We're talking to parents about test scores when parents are talking about what does this mean for my kids' economic opportunities, for my kid and his or her family's safety and security. Why don't we frame our successes in the things that are important to parents? I don't want to talk about the community and myself. I want to talk about me as part of the community I'm working with and I'm learning from and I'm building with. I think the premise of this movement is that maybe together we might be able to do things that we couldn't do alone, that we can do great things in great company. So every network breakthrough uh, has three different criteria. It has to be innovative, it has to be impactful, and it has to be transferable. At the end of the first year, select your best leaders. Get them together, make them feel a team, and give them just one challenge. Achieve collective impact. How do I actually build a movement with exponentially growing alumni without significantly increasing our team size. That's when we started the solution of the fellow Darbar. I think we will see such a multiplication of leadership around us, not just among our fellows, but among our students, our partners, other teachers, that we have no idea what the world will look like in 10 years. And that really excites me. What happened here in Bogota is amazing. And this is a perfect example of collective leadership. And when we all go back to our communities, to our countries, this is the energy that we need to be taking back with us. 